What is up guys welcome back to another video in today's video we are going to be taking a look at Qmobile OS ported onto our UU Euphoria but as you can see there are Qmobile apps over here as well as Sony apps so standard phone app icon is changed again context is the same messages the colors are only a bit different also you can set the sim over here pretty nice you have the Q apps I guess that was a Q store but actually it was a folder as you can see you get the Q mobile care okay it's just a helpline I thought it was like a manager or something next step the camera okay camera works also the color accuracy is quite nice over here going to the settings the shutter shutter sound geo tagging let's just turn it off self timer picture struck okay that's a picture level and what is this seriously why they are not using just the numbers why they are using weird letters that's much more complicated than you think sorry if i sound a bit weird i'm just a bit sick then you get the professional shot of i guess i've seen this camera i've never seen the q mobile in india as you can see there you go iso setting quite nice wide balance this is exposure this is not the focus there are two exposures okay this is the color saturation there is no manual focus on this thing i guess going to the music wow apps are quietly nice done i have to say there are smooth anti lag do it later standard app it's from the asus zenfone again the whole rom is not from the q mobile then you get the camera looking thing which is a moto camera with the sony icon then you get the q gallery setting this standard just a bit themed going to the about phone q mobile z8 android which is 5.0.2 wow first time on uu for you i guess i've never seen a 5.0.2 rom Coming to sound recorder, quite nice. Calendar, guess this is from the Sony. Calculator, standard one. Calendar, again standard one. Why there are multiple apps? Again another clock. I guess this is from Sony. Next one, videos. Again looks like gingerbread. Again another music. Okay, it's the Walkman. Then you get the backup restore. Then you get the phone assist. I guess this is the manager. Yep, that's the manager. You get the boot optimized, so you can select which apps are allowed on the boot, which is a quite nice feature. You get the notification manager, you get the guard. Scribble is I guess from the Sony. Yep, it's from the Sony. You get the movie creator from the Sony or I should say Xperia. Notes from the Qmobile again. The OS is made for the navbars but it's not optimized correctly. The video app is from the Sony, just the icon is bit weird. Then you get the track ID which uh, listens to your tracks and gives you ID. It's just like a Shazam, I guess Shazam and Snapchat. Greenify, you can hibernate your apps or just completely disable them. In the quick setting panels, there is nothing new. You just get your normal toggles. You get the super low mode. Let's just check that. It's like the ultra power saving mode it doesn't have any kind of lock screen so let's just exit this thing i can't expand my quick toggles you have to just exit it like that again you get a dedicated power saving advanced is also over here you get the quick buttons over here okay it's just a smart assistant wow they are just renaming all of the things just like the oppo and vivo and that's pretty much it guys thanks for watching this was a short review of the q mobile os ported onto our uu for you i hope you guys enjoyed and if you found this helpful please drop a like and see you in the next one peace